Welcome to the Frank L. Weinberg Library Media Lab training videos. Today we'll be working on digitizing your DVDs. For this, you'll need the DVD or DVDs you'd like to digitize, as well as a USB drive, also known as a flash drive. First, press the power button on the computer tower. This is the small black Think Center box between the computer monitor and the scanner. Next, press the power button on the DVD VCR player. This is the small white button located beside the VCR slot on the player. Underneath the DVD slot on the player, you'll see two small lights labeled VCR and DVD. Make sure that the DVD light is lit up green. If it isn't, press the source button below the light to switch it over. Now insert your DVD into the DVD tray. You'll see the disk in and play lights light up green. Then go to the computer desktop. Double click on Elgato Video Capture to open the video capture software. The program will automatically suggest that you name your converted video My Great Movie. You can leave this as is or change the name to whatever you like. In this drop down menu, tell the program about how long your video is. This doesn't have to be exact. The program will convert your entire video no matter what you choose here, so don't worry too much about being precise. Now click Continue. You're going to see a preview of your video here. If your DVD has a menu, navigate through it using the provided remote until your movie begins to play. If your DVD does not have a menu, press play on the provided remote. If you don't see your movie playing in this window, ask a librarian for help. Make sure the video input is set to Composite RCA. Then choose your aspect ratio. This is 16 by 9 and this is 4 by 3. Once you've chosen your ratio, click Continue. Here you'll be prompted to connect audio using an RCA audio cable. The RCA cable is already connected though to the speakers attached to the computer. Wait until you hear audio begin to play. If you don't, ask a librarian for help. Click Continue again to reach the recording screen. If necessary, rewind or fast forward your tape using the relevant buttons on the remote until you find the point where you'd like your video to start. Then, at the same time, press both the play button on the remote and the start recording button on the computer. The video will be captured in real time so you'll need to wait and watch your video as it records. When you reach the end of what you'd like to record, click Stop Recording. Elgato will process your video and then show you a preview of it. Click Play to watch it again. You can click anywhere within this gray bar to jump to different points in your video. You can also click and drag these small gray arrows to change your video's start and end times. When you're satisfied, click Continue. Elgato will begin converting your video into an MP4. This may take a few minutes depending on how long your video is. When Elgato is finished converting your video, it will suggest that you edit the video with Windows Live Movie Maker or upload the video to YouTube. Neither of these features is available in the Media Lab, so go ahead and click Again to convert another video or Quit to close Elgato. Elgato has saved your video into the Videos folder on the desktop. Double click on it to open it. You'll see your video in the folder. If you'd like to watch your video again, double click on it to open it in Windows Media Player. When you're done watching, click the X in the top right hand corner to close it. Now you'll need to move your video onto your flash drive. Go ahead and plug your flash drive into the computer. When that's done, double click this PC shortcut. Here, under Devices and Drives, you'll see your flash drive listed. Double click on it to open it. Now you have your flash drive open in one window and the videos folder open in another. Right click on your video in the videos folder and select cut. Then right click in the white space in the flash drive window and select paste. Now your video has been moved from the videos folder on the computer into your flash drive. Click the X in the top right hand corner of the flash drive window to close it. Now you can safely remove your flash drive from the computer. Press the eject button beside the DVD tray to eject your DVD. 
Finally, turn off the DVD VCR player and the computer, and you're done.